God damn it. What a way to start the new year. At this rate, I'll be dead by Easter. Quiet down, Agent Jones. You're on the clock. Quiet down? Ha! <laughs> you, you have any idea what you've done? I'd be half-naked in Havana right now if you hadn't shown up. Soaking up some rays, surrounded by a harem of bikini queens, a mojito in one hand, and a seafood-slathered Havana-style pizza in the other. What did I do to deserve this? Does God hate me? No. The regional bureau chief merely issued a special order. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How could I forget? A special order to rob me of my well-deserved vacation. You want pizza? I'll buy you some pizza. You can find that junk anywhere. Whoa! Hey! Hold on a minute. What did you just say? Pizza is not junk. Pizza is a sacred food. Agent Jones, don't let him take control of the conversation. The moment you let your guard down, he'll strike. And no red, remember? It's open. Come on in. You have questions for us. That's why you're here, isn't it?
Mr. Morgan, before we question you, allow me to first read you your rights. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Please keep that in mind as you speak. Do we have permission to film this? Hmm? Don't worry, my fairy. They're free to do whatever they like. Something wrong, Mr. Morgan? <clears throat> I'm FBI Special Agent Aaliyah Davis, and this is... Simon Jones. An analyst from the Boston branch. He's been monitoring us for years now. Oh, uh, hi. <sighs> Seriously. A southern belle and a lonesome loser who can't catch a break. Quite the uncanny duo. You'd be the perfect stars for the latest video game. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> How many years has it been since someone came to chat with us? Oh, but... Don't ask me about my fairy. That's a private matter. It's hard to tell what he's thinking, but my eyes can't be deceived. If he's hiding something, it'll come out in his... You solved many difficult cases across your career. Utilizing your own unique M.O. You've expertly cracked cases that were otherwise thought to be unsolvable. According to our records, after joining the FBI in 2002, you quickly solved two drug ring-related kidnapping cases. In 2003, you solved the Inside Out Flesh Skinner case in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. In 2004, the Jeffrey Dahmer wannabe case in Milwaukee. And also the Stuffed Human Collector case in St. Louis that very same year. Then, in 2005, you coincidentally happened to solve the Lise Clarkson murder case while on vacation. You went on to solve many other cases after that, all of them seemingly inexplicable. Did you really solve these cases all on your own? There are no records of you using a wide-scale investigative team or working with... How did you ever accomplish such monumental feats? It was all thanks to our... Talented partner. Partner. The FBI files show no record of you ever working with a partner. Do you mean you worked with some sort of unofficial partner or an outside confidant? Our partner is our partner. We've... Besides, Belle, you're forgetting one important thing. After the St. Louis case, we stopped by a diner on our way home and caught Thelma and Louise. Excuse me, Mr. Morgan, but would you please refrain from consuming that while we speak? I'm talking about... Yes, that. Yeah. 
Don't get in our way, and we won't get in yours. Unfortunately, questioning doesn't work like that. Our data needs to be consistent. Now please put out that stinking indulgence right this minute. If we say no... Then I'll put it out using force. Whoa, whoa, Aaliyah! This is Morgan's house. Besides, it's legal in Massachusetts for individuals to... And I mean, come on. It's medicinal. Exactly. Hey, Belle. Why are you dressed so handsomely? What are you talking about? The thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. That's a male necktie. The color black represents confidence and... And your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. Or perhaps it's a psychological barrier. Meant to how we admire your bravery. I thought you retired from profiling. <laughs> You're an... In order to think with society, a man must first gouge out his eyes and cut off... Don't judge a book by its cover. For someone who's supposed to have been one of our best, you've got an awful eye for people. Or did all that smoke and kill all your little gray cells? Okay, Aaliyah, that's enough. She's smart, but she's also more of a shrew than she lets on. Agent Jones, that's sexual harassment. <laughs> so... Bell, does that barrier of yours also protect you from vi <laughs> He's more dangerous than I thought. I can't read him. I'll just have to assault him head on with questions. First, I'll try using the files on the table to shake him up. Do you remember the homicides that took place in Lucare, Louisiana in 2005? We solved that. Your report states the following. By coincidence, you encountered a serious incident in a town you visited while on vacation. You then decided to steal the right to investigate from the local law enforcement. After several more homicides, you managed to apprehend the perpetrator. Yes. <laughs> we stole the right. It all started when the body of a 16-year-old girl was discovered. You arrived in Lucare immediately after that, didn't you? We just can't seem to keep ourselves away from dead girls. Did you really visit that town just to take a vacation? We don't know. If you already have the report, then we suggest you... Either way, that case is closed. Closed? You sure about that? Don't you think this puzzle is still missing some crucial pieces? <laughs> Come on. No need to beat around the bush with us, Belle.
They found Lise Clarkson's body. It was hidden deep within the Clarkson Food Delivery Service's cold storage warehouse. After 14 years, we finally discovered the body of the very first victim. Do you know what this means? That's why we're here. The first victim in the case he solved, Lise Clarkson. This is a photograph of what she looks like now. 